Hyde Raw. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Right, I have literally stopped my engine, just got in the car and I've got a couple of hour drive ahead of me I'm off to see Chris for who I've been working with now for about September six, six months maybe. No doubt that we've made some huge changes, but every now and again, this is why I think it's really important. We work, we have one less than a month. I think it's really important because I always creep back to rolling my wrists and going over the top. And we've seen that in the last few videos and we've seen it a lot in the break 80 videos. I also think I'm thinking too much. I just want to get on the golf course and play golf. My backswing is getting shorter and shorter because I'm thinking about more things. So a few things today, I'm, I'm just going to tell them that I want to work on that takeaway and also maybe some kind of trigger to get rid of that over the top movement. So look, Wishes luck, let's get there and let's crack on. My lesson is your lesson. Hopefully I'll pay for it and you enjoy it, right? Let's go. In terms of outcome stuff, like what would you say has been bothering you the most oh. at the moment? Because we need to like tie it into an outcome rather than just go super technical. It's the bad shot at the minute, <clears throat> like everyone will, everyone will know, is it, it's just, I can do it in here. As soon as, soon as I get on the course, I don't know if I'm trying to hit it harder or I don't know if I'm just thinking too much. I don't know, but I think, I'm always battling it over the top. Yeah. And as soon as I leave me lesson, it's, it's nice and I can do it. Drifts back. I go on a course. I don't know if it's because I'm trying to hit it harder or my swing. I notice my swing gets a bit longer. So the couple of things I was going to want to do today is a feel at the top of my swing. If I can get that feel at the top of my swing, like I've seen, I've seen people like do it with a foot. So that, and then they put, as they put the foot down before the swing, like any, everyone has a little feel trigger. at the top. Yeah, a little trigger to drop the hands. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I need. Yep. That's what I was saying about the back, pushing yep. the back towards target. And that's my miss really. A lot of it, if I, like I'm, I worked out the other day in the first nine holes, like I'm scrambling well, but I played nine holes the other day and I might have been four or five, or four over or something, but it was like from 150 yards, I hit one green. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the problem. Do you know what I mean? I'm missing, I'm missing are you, greens. Are you hitting it okay off the tee? Are you still, are you cutting that? <sighs> I'm cutting Slicing that, that massively. Yeah. All right, so let's... I'm landing like, it's not a massive slice. It's not, going like bye bye gone balls gone it's going it's going set semi rough rough and is it starting it's, left and fading i'm just i'm just literally going yeah okay and yeah it's good when you're in here and you're hitting under an alignment stick and stuff but as soon as you're in the course you obviously you stand on a tee box on a cliff yeah, you, need you to want feel. to you you're gonna to want feel. to hit it do you know what i mean so when i start and hit it that's when i start getting over the top yeah yeah so i, I, get I think i'm gonna try and do like i say a shorter back swing so learn how to get the arms there, but with Wild turn, turn yeah. and have a little trick at the top. And I think them two things, and I think we'll blob on. All right. And just try and not think about anything but them two things. Yep. Let's then, keep it'll, it. then it'll, I'll just thingy, but. Yeah, I right, hit a couple then. So this is what I've kind of been, I'm not going to do what I've been thinking. I'm just going to do what I've been. These clubs are so nice compared to them. They sound so solid. <laughs> They're, they're a lot more forgiving than them Apex Pros. Do you know what I mean? Apex Pros have a really low handicap as mine. So it's a lot immediately when you take the club away, and this is because you used to come, you know, piece the backswing together. Don't go that and then move. And we talked about it before. So as the hands are starting to move to the right quad, start to engage that left flat straight away. Okay. If you get it started earlier, you don't have to work on rotating because you rotate nicely now, mm -hmm. but you just sometimes go, put it there and then try and rotate. So then you're always playing catch up and then you right. never get enough, which is why you get that overrun. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. You have two options, right? If, you have, if you're somebody who plays with the hand path slightly in front, yeah. like a Victor Hovland, Cameron Champ, DJ, mm -hmm. it's important that we have a shallow shaft, relatively shallow, so the center of mass stays back. Okay. If you're someone who plays with a deeper hand path, you can get away with a steeper um, shaft because yeah. essentially they match, yeah? yeah? So like a Garcia or a Rory, yeah. okay? So it's important for you at the moment, you sometimes get the hands out and the club out. That's what kills you. Yeah. If your hands went out and the pitch of the shaft was back, you'd be fine. If the hand stayed in and the pitch of the shaft was the same, it'd be fine. So we need to work together, and this is why it's coaching, not teaching, to find what you're most comfortable with, right? Yeah. So, start swing to the top of your swing. I said something about in my Instagram story, so I said I want to get the back swing like that, right? So this is what we want to identify. So stage by stages, it's not so much wrist early, it's wider here. Now see as you do that wide look and it's lower, that starts turning. Like that. That's so, different, right? Yeah, so what? So why you're not in? Am I yeah. going in again? You're starting to get the wrist active too early. Right. So I feel like until the hands move here, they're just moving a straight line, and the left lats. That's perfect. 
Okay, do you right. see how that's more of a one piece move now? Yeah. Rather just... than you want to go like this straight away. <clears throat> Am I going like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So less wrist early, turn the left lat, club moves in one line to here. There. Now from there, you can do your wrist thing. So for a, for, for a feel, I'm just trying to think, am I going like that? Perfect, that's it. And then allow your wrist to set. As you're swinging up to P3, go. Left lat, stop. That's you're gonna feel like you're there, that's spot on. Left lat's at the ball, this is connected, hands are in front of the chest. Yeah. Textbook. Now from here, we need to experiment with a few feels, yeah. okay? So I feel that I like, okay, is to feel like the right pocket, because sometimes what you do is, that we know this based on the past, is your right hip stays high and spins out. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So the identity, imagine there's a wall here. You want to feel like this hip is moving away from the wall as it started to rotate. As this moves away from the wall, if you look at the ball and just exaggerate this feeling, just push this that way. Cool. Yeah? yeah. Exaggerate, just push it that way. Look where the hands go. Yeah. This is exaggerating, by the way, but yeah, this yeah. is a feeling of separating the upper and lower hemispheres of your body, right? So occasionally what you do is you get to the top, this hip stays high and back and goes forwards. If the first move, they're like that. Yeah. Right? I, I go. Like that. So if you may. So turn up, stop. There, that, you do that, yeah. right? So if you imagine, there's a wall here. I'll put this on so people can see this. There's a wall here, and you get to the top of the backswing, and your hip stays high and moves along that wall. That's a pure rotational force with not enough lateral movement, which is going to send the hand path out, no matter what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The opposite to that is to resist with the upper body and allow a little bit of pressure shift through the lower body and separation where this hip, as it's unwinding, moves off. Naturally, when I do that, that increases access tilt and the hands will drop. Okay. No matter what you do, they will. So we'll try that. Yeah, let's try that first, yeah. So let's do a slow one. Let me get it on camera as well. Okay, let's chip that, go on. Just chip one with that feel. Push the hip across and just let the club come down. Oh, God. Feels different, right? Oh, yeah. This is where people think they want to avoid slide in the downswing. But on tour, the average movement of the center of mass on the downswing is five and a half inches. So think about this, as you're rotating, the middle of your body has to move five and a half inches that way. Well, they do on tour anyway. Yeah, mine, At the moment, mine, you're not, yeah. Which is sometimes why inches. you spin back and forth, <coughs> especially with the longer stuff, right? <coughs> so you're always going to be fighting the hand path thrown out. Push the right hip, go. Good, nice. Man. I don't think I pushed the right hip there. I think yeah, I pushed. you did, you did. If this hip stays high for too long, it's going to encourage, especially with rotation, the hand path to move out. Right. So if someone comes to me and they're a big dropper in the inside and hooker, yeah, so and they were go like this, they slid too much into early extension, I would encourage them to get this low, get this high as a feel. Mm. But really, in real time, they do this. You're the opposite of that. You get to the top, and occasionally you spin off on your back foot and you fall back. Yeah. So we need to try and create a little bit of separation here, which will then put this side of your body into right bend yeah. and allow the hands to fall. So, yeah, and yeah, this is so one it, thing I want you to be aware of as well, because this is something that is, I think, mis mistaught, right? So because you're going... So you used to do this, and so you used to feel like you're like that. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And that, now it feels here... You don't want to feel like your hands are swinging that way because no, eventually no. Yeah, you'll start hooking it or you actually start shanking it because your hands are going <clears> too far out. But now you're in this slot, when you feel more behind you, then you rotate. Right now, closer, a bit more. But can you see how, I know you've, you're not hitting these pure yet, but can you see how there's no way these are going to slice? That's what we need to, like, we need to think, we need to think of the long game here. Like yeah. the slice is bothering you. So get yourself set. Now, because the path is clearly now further to the right, if we're going to tee hit a correct draw, where does the club base need to be? That way. Yeah, so not no, at the setup, right? So where you, we're trying to finish it on that line. Yeah, yeah. So I want you to aim the club face here. So set yourself up, aim the club face here. So you feel like it's open. Yeah. And now obviously when we new, move the path, the path's going to be more over here. So the path's going to be right of the club face, but the club base has to be open to the target, otherwise it will hook like you are doing. So leave that face open now. Yeah. And now do the right hip thing. So just now you've closed it. Leave it open. Leave it there. Leave it there. I know it feels open, but the path will take care of it for you. I'm not doing lean shaft. Yeah, you can lean the shaft, of course you can. But just don't close the face. I haven't. Like that. Yeah. Okay. I see him at the screen, that yellow dot still. Yeah, so do that. And now just do the right hip thing. So it feels like you're gonna hit it right, doesn't it? Yeah. Go on. Turn, keep it short, right hip thing. There's your draw. Okay. So what will happen, bro, yeah, is after you start, I mean, look at it, it's finished online. I mean, the, oh, no. for the people watching, come on, <laughs> right? But what I'm saying is, if you're going to try and move away from a slice pattern once and for all, it's best to we start trying to hit draws for a little bit. Yeah, and if you overdraw it, who cares right now? Because it'll just go left and the fairway. And then you'll be happy missing left all day because you think, at least I'm making a change and then we'll refine <clears> it as we go. So if I'm like, it's a bit like, feet don't matter. So let's, let's use these three T's, right? And, yeah. this is, and this is... Will my feet matter that much? Not really. 
like Bubba Watson would say otherwise, wouldn't he? Who gives a shit where your feet are aiming? As long as the shoulders are okay, yeah, yeah. because that's what essentially is going to be more influential on the club than where your feet are. So if this was the target line, okay, that's where we want the ball to finish. Mm -hmm. This is where I want the club face to be at setup and at impact. Okay. And this is where I want the path. Okay. So as long as the path is there and the face is there, it will finish on the target. What you were doing initially is the face was like near the target. Right. But the path was here. So, so the, I'm starting on the line, starting it on the line and going left. Yeah, because the path and the gap between the path and the face is too big. Yeah. Okay. We don't want it to be a big, massive gap. <clears throat> so so I, aim the face at the. I've got the T's way off there, by the way. Let me. So the yellow T is the target. That's the face. That's the path, right? So aim the, the yellow T is the target. That's perfect, right? So aim the club face at the blue. Yeah, at the middle T. Yeah. So it feels very open for you. Yeah. Now, as long as you turn and do the hip thing, the path will go to the other one. So just control it now. Okay. So keep it short and turn, and then let the right hip move off the wall. Face closed down a little bit, but again, see how it's not missing much left? No, it's I've... not missing much to the left now. Yeah, that's not far as at all. What I'm saying, with this pattern here, what we're giving you is a blueprint that guarantees that you're not going to miss it right. Yeah. So it's... I'm not saying it's a perfect goal swing, but it's a swing that's in the right direction, okay? So get the face open. Better? Yeah. How did it feel? Yeah. Now, number one rule of a draw, start the ball to the right. right. So, for example, if you're playing a hole with out-of-bounds left, you might play in, do that. Yeah. If you're playing a hole where you've got to draw it, you might not go as open. Don't do the backswing so robotic either. Just swing and use the right hip. Money. I don't want it. How's that? Feels a bit, like, not as... Yeah, right now, because it feels weird, right? Uh, I wouldn't say it's thin. I'd say it looks a little bit um, like you're thinking about it. This is how I did it, draw, right? I'm going to walk in. I'll aim the face. Set myself up. I'm not going to change it again. I'm set. Yeah, but how are you pushing the club forward and stuff? Yeah, but you just sit, I just set it forward. Stand there for a second. Watch. I just set it forward. So I walk in. There's my target. Put it, put, point it down. It's already forward. All right. Set myself up. Slightly open. And then if I'm, if I'm going to try and draw it, then I'll just... And that's the <coughs> miss for a draw. Start it right, if it doesn't overdraw, it's fine, no. but that's still drew, it's not enough. <coughs> so I think you're overthinking the club base thing. I am, yeah. So you look at that ball flight there. I know I miss hit it, but you see it's just a baby draw. All right, so that's, this is what we need to do more work on, I think, is... Yeah, is, you need to be more impulsive. All right, ready, steady, go. Turn, hip. That's drawing lovely. Hmm? Look, I said it's drawing lovely. Yeah, that's what we need to work on. Yeah, so you need to become more of a golfer, not a golf swinger. Yeah, it's not all about the golf swing. It's about actually learning the skill part of yeah, the game. That's what... One, two, three. I didn't do the hips though. Mate, you, but you hit the shot, right? You, you're too, like, you've been, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> you executed the shot. Now, you're not going to get it all right because now you think, oh my God, I haven't got the time to yeah. think about everything. You've got to put, take, watch the whole routine. Aim, two, three, go. You did it too hard, but now, are we happy with that ball flight? Yeah, it's, it's drawn. It would be yeah, easy. it's too much draw right now, but are we happy with it? Yeah, we are, because yeah. we've made the change that you wanted to do. So now, because it drew too much, okay, what we've got to do, why, why would, you know, the, the curvature happens when the path and face gets further and further apart. It's in. Yeah. See what I mean? But the, the, the beautiful thing is, right, what I want you to do, and again, look at the ball flight, small draw. That's, that's our blueprint. Yeah, yeah. No more than that. So what you were doing initially, and it's fine, because I noticed you doing it, because you, you would, I was teaching you, is you were starting to go, aim the club right, which is good, but you were starting to aim the body right, yeah, and then swing really far right, because you're going to hook it low. Yeah, just keep the body straight. So literally, all you want to do is set the club face slightly open, move the, aim the body relatively straight, yeah. and then just move the path a little bit right by allowing it to fall. Mm. That's it. So this is actually our first ever on-course lesson. Ever. Club face, set the feet, take your time, right shoulder back, go. No. <laughs> okay, but it it's, a high, it's a high draw, you just roof the <laughs> shit out of it. I think I've just topped my new driver. Is no! It? It's not my coaching, by the way, it's him. We've got to keep this real. So my first change, <laughs> I've just topped my driver. No, that's pure, hit a high draw, you just roofed it. One. High draw. See it? Yep. No slice. Now you can trust starting a bit further right with the club base. Trust the hips. 
Look at that. That is nuked high draw. Next. Okay, so the first one, as you've seen, like I roofed it. Obviously, I was set up a little bit different, but it was actually, it, it drew. <laughs> it drew, it just went really high. <laughs> like it came down with snow on. But the second two, just trusting that little hip movement and starting the club out right, has literally eliminated that, that right shot, which we were so worried about. If I've eliminated that, one's in the middle of the fairway, one's just left. It's not overdrawn it a little bit. Yeah, is it past them trees, you reckon? Yeah, you can see them in the middle. Can you see the one in the middle, look? Yeah, where's the other one? Way up there. It'll be here past the trees as well. Same. All right. Yeah, let's go and see him. Uh, it's a par five the first hole, so we're going to see if we can get up there. So we're going to play both shots, um, see if we can get two pars or a birdie and a par. Let's see. Let's go. Hit that hybrid you were here. No. Why not? I can't draw a hybrid around that. You just, yes, you can. Is that record? Yeah, come on. <laughs> get your right. hybrid out. That's what I'm here for. Do things you've never done. You want me to hit a hybrid? Yeah, hit the hybrid. Come on. I don't think I can. You can, you can. You want me to draw a hybrid round a conifer? Yeah, watch watch when you do this. You're going to be gassed now. All right. right, take a practice swing first. Get the movement before we walk straight in. So, same thing. We're going to turn. Then we're going to get the right hip. So, it's going to allow the club to drop. There you go. That's the feel. Right, now, club base is going to be at this bunker. Yeah. I'm going to Play the ball straight. slightly more middle because you're going to get the path to the right and just trust it. Okay. Everything will happen. So, aim to the right. Club base is good. Ball slightly middly. Really good. Love it. Now, just good rhythm, focus on it. No, oh, oh. didn't draw. Look at, look at your, uh, it is drawing. It is drawing a little bit. It's not enough. Do it again. I, it's fine there, flew over everything. That was so close, but you fell back. Right. Get through it and it will draw more. Because if you fall back, right, that's you doing that. And the face goes in. If you oh, do this. Button. Take the belly button. Right, I think belly button. We'll get through it. Belly button will get us through it. Club face, same position. Ball slightly in the middle. Okay, keep it short and go. Trust it. Okay, went underneath it. Look, it's drawing round though. Look where it's coming down there. Perfect. It's a little bit on. Uh, it went underneath it, but look, it's right in the middle. Perfect. Yeah. Belly. Uh, that's the. F I can't get to here. I've got to get that belly. Yeah, hip, a hip across, turn. The ball go higher when you hit it like this. Because yeah, you're shallower, right? You're gonna launch it higher. Yeah. Because gonna... I, I feel like my ball feathers are never high. Yeah. Because you smother everything. Feet normal. Don't yeah, change yeah. your feet. Yeah. yeah. It's all hips, a club face. Ah! Just when you flip it. Big hook. Get another ball, get another ball in there. Definitely not going to slice it anymore. So don't, just because there's trees there, what you've kind of done there is yeah. finger of the tree, you've kind of gone, <laughs> keep the belly button moving, yeah? Same thing. Take two, let's go. So club face. Yeah, good. Set. And go. That is money. High draw. Off the off the flag. Yeah, perfect. Sh slightly overdone, which is fine right now. Because we, we've got but you, you, we've you, got space at the moment. Yeah, and you're miles and miles away from a fade now, right? In out of the right, yeah? 157. So it's probably playing 165 to fly all the way there. Okay, the hip wasn't great doing that one. So that was fine, apart from the down. Oh, that's good, you got lucky. Okay, the hip wasn't great doing that one, so that was fine, apart from the down, oh, that's good, you got lucky. To be honest, the look of the wind, it's hard out of the right ear, so you don't, you don't want to be trying to draw this too much. This is a, this is a fade shot, really, yeah. but we're going to play the draw because it's because we're trying to so work on it. Even if I go left of the bunker, I'm not But you're going, to, you're going to be hitting this over this tree. It the wind work. is strong off the right. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to aim straight. But I'm, well, I'll, no, you're going to aim right, because yeah, the yeah. wind's hard. So, you know, so aim at that tree. The aim at the tree. the tree. Yeah, yeah. Right. And don't be afraid of it going right. Little draw. That's money. Get in the green. Ah, oh, perfect. Pin on left. Love it. What a horrible bounce. You're under the gun. You're not going to swing that mile to the right. But when you're doing your practice swings, you know when you're coming down, you can see it swinging right, can't you? When you yeah. So is this the? Yeah. Try that other ball. Go on. Come in, just a little bit too long. Ah. Now what we're going to do, we're going to play another hole, par five again, hit two tee shots, we're going to play two balls, see if we can get, wherever they go, we've got to play them, get another tee. One attempt each. Yeah, we've got to, this is it, proper concentrate. I mean, you've ripped it of a high draw. I don't... That's pure. Two in a row. 
Get on the road back up north, mate. This is the best drives, but there's two high drawers. What yeah. would you want? Uh, nothing. I'm just a bit, I'm a bit <laughs> speechless. Stop playing with a pie on it and start going off them birdies. Look, if you want to, if you want to eventually get to scratch road to scratch, bro, you've got to be. This That's is a, one this thing is, missing in my game at the minute is birdies. birdies. Yeah, because you're not aggressive. Like now, like this is green light pin, mate. <laughs> like hit a f***ing rip and fight bird. You're on the or hybrid. You're on the green. Yeah. Two parts birdie. Maybe nick a, nick an eagle. It's a good shot, mate. It's trying. It's drawing. Get up. Get up. Down there, isn't it? You need a big draw, sure. so. This is a shot that I'd probably just punch down there and get on and make a par. You want me to try and get this low? Razz it around the corner. Right, so my target line is the yellow stick on the left, yeah? Go on. Just didn't turn it over enough. Perfect, perfect technique. Yeah. Just didn't turn it over enough. Get a bit more flippy on these because you're trying to get it slinging, right? Yeah. So I'd, I'd put my club face down just right at the yellow stakes. I'd have my feet probably somewhere near that bunker, is what I'm thinking. Oh, my feet were pointing and flinging Yeah, too over far there. right. Yeah. Wait on the left, and then I'm just going to keep my weight on my left. And if I do it, if it's, if it's correct, you know, it should essentially, everything else should be done. Low hook. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Go on then. You, take a, you have to get steeper into this. So you need the ball sort towards the back of your stance. I just want to do the hip thing. No, you just, yeah, you need to pick it up a bit, yeah. Pick it up a bit on the back swing as well. Because you need to miss the grass behind you. Pick yeah. it up. Pick it up there like that. Use your wrist even more because you want to get it right up. This is not like a technique of a swing. This is like a skill shot. You have to pick it up, pick it right up. That's it, like that, yeah, like that. And then hit down onto it. See what happens here. Just to the left of it with that wind. Lean to the left, pick it up and hit down. Very good. Get up. Get up. Good shot. Yeah, hybrid from 250. The good, the good thing is though, I think that's made me a bit more confident with the longer clubs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, you could, that's what I mean. Be, you've got to take that chance when you've got it. Yeah. Remember, land this kind of halfway. This putter feels unbelievable, by the way. It's nice, isn't it? Fuck, it feels lovely. I'll right, chip this in now. Don't worry about getting it close. Pick your landing spot. A little bit right to left. Hold the thing. Come on. Wait on the left, little dink. I mean, it was a bit of a push. And it was a bit high trajectory. Yeah. For a bump and run, it was really high. A little bit too far right, mate. Why not turn? Yeah, it doesn't break that much. All right, you got, you got a par putt and a birdie putt. Pace was good. Got a little two pars on. <laughs> Go! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Level par for two balls. Par par! Honestly, could not be happier. Everything I wanted out of that lesson, I got out of that lesson. And we even for the first time got to go on the course, which me and Chris have never done, taken on shots. And it, I just, I also kind of realized how bad my course management is. And maybe I'm a little bit scared of shots. There were shots I was like, I'd lay up, and he was like, are you mad? Go for it. And the big thing is we were hitting draws and hitting that kind of shot shape on the course, which I've never done. Over the top had kind of gone with that little hip movement. Hopefully the next video, we'll get on the course without Chris and see if it works. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And like I said, as I always say, my lessons are your lesson. We're on this journey together. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.